breaking news of Devin Haney and Javante Tank Davis going back and forth, where Javante is claiming that Devin Haney wants to be like him. While Devin Haney responded by stating, they say everything, but let's fight. Listen, at the end of the day, or at least the night, we don't care about who's wearing what, who has more money, who wants to be like who. All we care about is we want to see the best versus the best. So when Tank says Devin Haney want to be like him, who cares? Even though it's not even true. But the point is, who cares? Who cares? The million dollar question, are you trying to fight him though? See, Devin Haney and Javante are not models. They are fighters. They fight for a living. Therefore, we don't care who dresses better. We don't care who got more money. We don't care who's making more money. All we care about is who's better. Not better at dressing, but who's the better fighter. The only way to find that out is by fighting in the ring. Like Devin Haney says, they say everything but let's fight. Devin Haney want to find out who's the better fighter in the ring. He believes he's the better fighter and he's willing to put his skills to the test. However, we can't say the same thing for Javante. What Javante has to realize, the fans don't care about who has more money, so on and so forth. The only thing the fans care about is that we want to see the fight. And who's willing to fight and who's not? Who's a champion? And who's not? It's that simple. With that being said, we all know Devin Haney has been calling out Javante Tank Davis to fight for years. And all we heard from Javante in return was excuses. With that in mind, a casual fan on Twitter told Devin Haney, you need to fight Tank. So Devin Haney responded by stating, he not going to fight nobody. He 27 with a Mickey Mouse belt. And the best person on his resume is Pedraza. F out of here. That's when Tank responded to Devin Haney on a post and delete tweet where he said, laughing emojis, why are they paying me five times more than you? Like I have all the belts, question mark. But bum ass inward. And another thing, stop trying to be me, chump. The people starting to notice. Like I said before, Tank keep talking about money and fashion, but he won't talk about fighting. The fans don't keep up with Tank and Devin Haney to talk about fashion and money. The fans keep up with both to see them fight because they fight for a living. That's all we care about. Now, there's nothing wrong with Tank talking shit by using his money in fashion. Absolutely not. As long he signs the contract to fight Devin Haney. Then he could talk all the shit he wants to promote the fight. But what's the point of Tank talking shit to somebody that he's not willing to fight, a.k.a. Devin Haney? What's the point of Tank talking shit to Devin Haney while he's hiding behind Floyd Mayweather to break the fight up? In addition to that, that's major cap that Tank is making five times the amount of money Devin Haney is making. Because I know the numbers. And Devin Haney right now is making around the same thing Javante Tank Davis is earning per fight. Tank is not even making two times the amount of money Devin Haney is making. Keep in mind, Tank is 27, almost 28 years old, while Devin Haney is 23 years old. Therefore, if you compare Javante when he was 23 years old to Devin Haney now, Javante wasn't making what Devin Haney is making now. Absolutely not. It's not even close. At this pace, Devin Haney is closing the gap real fast. And in no time, hater or love it, he will surpass Tank. But it's not even about that. All we care about is the best versus the best. And that's what Devin Haney want to deliver. While Tank want to talk about money. However, ironically, Tank doesn't want to make his biggest paycheck fighting Devin Haney for undisputed. So what are we talking about here? Tank want to talk money but doesn't want to make his biggest payday fighting Devin Haney when he actually fight for a living. That's when Devin Haney responded to what Tank had to say, where he stated, quote, funny, he got so much to say after my fight get announced, but wasn't keeping the same energy. He was saying he was going to fight me next. If I beat Combosis, question mark. 
after the fight, we ain't hear shit. This clown says I want to be like him. Everybody getting money, shopping at the same stores, buying the same cars, doing all the same shit. Been the same cycle forever. Tell that insecure punk if he got a problem with the n-word across town having the same shit, having just as much as him. Go jump off a bridge. Now go to the store and get some belts. Listen, at this point, Devin Haney is bullying Tank. But Javante didn't have enough. He came back for some more. However, it was a post and delete tweet. So I don't even know if Devin Haney saw it. Tank said, it's been three people undisputed in the last six to seven months. Laughing emojis. What I'm going to do with the belts? Question mark. Yo, be honest to me. Give them to my kids for school. Question mark. Like Devin Haney said, they say everything but let's fight. Javante told Devin Haney, leading up to Devin versus Combosis' undisputed fight. If you win, then I want to fight you next. Now he talking about what I'm going to do with them belts. You know what are you going to do with them belts? Make history. Print your name next to Floyd Mayweather, Muhammad Ali, Sugar Ray Leonard, Sugar Ray Robinson. That's what you could do with them belts. Like Devin Haney did when he printed his name next to an all-time great in Pernell Whitaker. So when Tank said, there's been three undisputed champions in the past seven months, we all know that's a cap because it's a fact that's been stamped in history that Devin Haney is the last undisputed champion since Pernell Whitaker in the lightweight division, which is something that hasn't been done for over 30 years. That's what you call legacy, making history something Tank has no idea about, wanting to be great. Because at the end of the day, or at least the night, both Devin Haney and Javante have money, but one is making history wanting to be an all-time great, aka the undisputed champion Devin Haney, and the other one is not, aka Tank. Javante doesn't even have a belt at the lightweight division. Now he said, what I'm gonna do with them belts? Well, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Why Tank stay rocking the WBA belt when he doesn't have a belt? He only has an interim title and he don't care about the belt. So why Javante Davis stay rocking the WBA belt and flexing with it when he doesn't care about the belts? Hello? Is anybody home? Look, I'm not with the nonsense. And Javante right now is on some Ryan Garcia shit. Excuse my French. To say what I'm going to do with the undisputed belts. Well, the same question could be asked in the UFC, in the NBA, in the NFL, or any other sport. From soccer, so on and so forth. Why do they care about championships in the NFL, NBA, soccer, so on and so forth? Because that tells the world, this is the best team. That's why. Like I said... The fans are tuning in to watch the best, play against the best, or fight the best. We not watching athletes to talk about fashion and money. We are gonna talk to an advisor for that. I could guarantee you, even Javante own fans, they don't listen to Tank to hear what he gonna say about money and take an advice from Tank. Absolutely not. They only tune in to see Tank fight. Therefore, if Tank is not in the sport to fight the best, then what is he in the sport for if he doesn't want to become a champion? Or better yet, the undisputed champion. The highest achievement a fighter can make in the sport of boxing. Apparently, Tank is in the wrong sport. Listen, Tank said that Ryan is not a man of his word. However, Tank needs to look in the mirror because he's becoming the same thing He's criticizing Ryan for. He told Devin Haney, if you become undisputed, then I want to fight you next. Then when Devin Haney became undisputed, Javante disappeared like magic. He was as quiet as a church mouse. Devin Haney kept calling him out in the media. Javante was a no-show. He had nothing to say. As soon as Devin Haney announced his next fight, all of a sudden Tank comes out of the woodwork. Now we hear Tank talking. 
like Devin Haney pointed out, it's a pattern. When Devin Haney is free to rumble, Tank has nothing to say. As soon as Devin Haney is locked in, all of a sudden, Javante is almost clout chasing Devin Haney. So if Javante believes Ryan is not a man of his word, what makes Tank a man of his word when he told the public, I want Devin Haney next if he become undisputed. Then when Devin Haney became undisputed, he told the WBA not to activate the mandatory. That's what Javante requested from the WBA. People always want to make new excuses. The latest one is Combosis rematch clause. I told you guys time and time again, Devin Haney had an option. If one of his mandatories activated his mandatory position, then Devin Haney had the option to pay Combosis step aside money and fight his mandatory, which means since Javante is Devin Haney mandatory for the WBA, if he really wanted to make the fight, Tank could have made the fight happen. Therefore, the rematch clause excuse is not going to work. First of all, Devin Haney been calling out Tank for years. It's not like Devin Haney just called out Tank this year. Second of all, once Devin Haney beat Combosis again, are you guys telling me that's making excuses in the comment section? Javante is going to fight Devin Haney next after Combosis rematch. And if he don't, are you guys going to call him a duck for avoiding Devin Haney fight again? Or are you guys going to find another excuse? Then once Devin Haney goes to Showtime, what excuses are you guys going to make then? Like Devin Haney said, they say everything, but let's fight. Last time I checked, Tank was supposed to be a free agent a couple months ago. However, that's beside the point because... If Dev goes to Showtime after ESPN, then what excuses are you guys going to make then when Tank don't fight Devin Haney? Remember, Devin Haney didn't have to go to ESPN. He could have went to Showtime right away when he was the WBC champion if Tank wanted to fight him. If two fighters want to fight, then the fight can happen. The fight will happen. However, if one want to make excuses, then of course the fight is not going to happen. It takes two to rumble. Last but not least, before Tank discredit Devin Haney for becoming undisputed, all he needs to remember is that Devin Haney got Lomachenko off his back. Loma was bullying Tank in the media until Devin Haney came around. That's when Devin Haney punked the bully Lomachenko and took his lunch money, a.k.a. The WBC belt. He stripped it from Nomachenko. Therefore, the road to undisputed for Devin Haney was extremely difficult. Dev did what Tank wasn't willing to do. He made Nomachenko wave the white flag by stripping Noma of the WBC belt. Then Devin Haney, as the WBC champion, flew all of the way to Australia to beat Combosis in a unification for undisputed. Dev managed to become undisputed in foreign soil. It was Devin Haney who brought the belts back home to the United States. That's what you call making history. With the facts being laid out, drop your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe below and click on the notification bell to be continued. On the next episode of Aki, Aki, Ak TV, peace. And I'm on to the next one. Devin Haney said, quote, if you don't care to go and make the big fights happen, what's the point of even leaving your current situation? Might as well stay there and be loyal to Floyd. What do you think about that? He's an email champ. We can't, he's an email champ. He's fighting because somebody mailed him the belt. How is that, did that ever happen in boxing anymore? <laughs> and he's talking crazy. And he still got, like, come on. So when you, if you win, you said all that. If you win, I'm not on my contract. Let's make the fight happen since you was want to talk crazy. Let's, let's, let's do that. I want to fight you if you win. Devin Haney. <laughs> A few moments later. The eighth fighter in the four belt era to become the undisputed champion of the world. How does that sound? Alhamdulillah. All praise due to Allah. Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. 
Tank Davis tweet before the fight, going into the fight, if you win, why don't we get together? How do you feel about that? Well, we haven't heard much uh, uh, about that after the fight, so uh, we don't know if he changed his mind or what. <laughs> it's really no even like, he He might as well throw that shit in the trash. It's not even real. It's not even a belt, so he might as well just throw that shit in the trash because it's pointless. So, but he is your mandatory right now. He could be my mandatory. He could be. He's not my mandatory. What could mean? If he want, if he want it, then he could get it. Oh, so he could become, he, he could so become if he my mandatory. To be your mandatory. He could push. Now. Yeah, he could. He could push for it. And and you would accept that fight right now? Come on now. I said two fights that I want. Loma and Tank. Tank set this shit up, man. Let me call. I'm in Texas. People, they got to figure this shit out. Say they're going to do this. They're going to do us. It's based on which one want to make what what. Then the rest of them figure it out. You with me? Absolutely. Absolutely. So that's the problem we have to deal with. Well, with well, well, then I think that the, I think that the best thing is then I wait and hear from you next then. Right. You know no, what I'm saying? Thing. It's, it's, I'm sitting up here talking. You hear me, Coach Calvin. I'm hearing you. Yeah. After that. I'll like, wait. I, like I said, i wait. This is this is this is what I wanted to hear. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I want to hear what, whether it was live or whether it was jive. You know what I'm nah, saying? They, at, what, Tank don't never call nobody out. He said right. national TV. David. Well, we can't listen. Well, we can't get around you because we can't get around you because we got all the belts and we didn't lock the door. You know what I'm saying? No, so but I understand. Like, you. No, no. But Wait, what I'm saying I know, is, I already know how like, you're going. I already like, know how you're going to get out your situation. You just got to pay what the Gambos hey, say he was supposed hey, to get for that next fight. Hey, listen. The thing about it is, is that it's not like we can go to the WBA and say that we want to mandate the fight. You know. You guys can go to the WBA and mandate the fight. Yeah, like I said, they say once you take care of that Gambosa situation, you yeah, know what but, but it got to be took we care would, of. We wouldn't have a we wouldn't have a Gambosa situation if y'all go mandate the fight. No, I, I I agree with you, but again, it's based on the stipulation of mandating the fight. Well, that's what I'm saying is we can't mandate the fight, you guys, but you guys can mandate the fight to make the fight well, happen huh. next. The WBC was making Devin one of tanks mandatory. How how are we gonna do that? I don't know. I don't know. Just, I wait, wait, you said they was is tank. Yeah. I don't is tank in the in the WBC? No, W I think it was WBO, WB no. And one of them sanctioning bodies they talked about making Devin tanks uh mandatory. You mean you mean make make tank Devin's mandatory? Right, correct. Oh, okay. Right. Well, I wait to hear from you. No, I wait too. I want to see how this shit play out because this is what happens 